Car just instantly turned on because I think the battery is too cold, plus it's one degree out. Turn on the rear defrosters here. So at one degree, the car says that's it. I'm starting. I don't care what you think. Looks like our front's fogging up, so we're going to have to put the front defrosters on here. And crank that heat up to... 70 degrees. I'll deliver some packages first. We do have a 20 mile charge on here, it says. Reset this trip B meter here. There we go. packages okay here we go I can't see a damn thing behind me here for the car to warm up definitely very cold in the car you actually see here that when you stop at a light uh, the car's temperature will actually go down we go 125 down to 123 to 122 and then we get going back up when we're moving it's finally warmed up there then it goes back down a little bit again And here we finally warm up enough to shut off the engine. It took 15 minutes for the whole car to warm up to the 142 that it likes when it's set on 70. And then it off for 45 seconds. Comes back on. So it keeps bouncing between that 132 and 142 when the heat's set on uh, 70 like that. Uh, there's another day that I actually kind of tested that to see the different temperatures so we'll do that in another video where you see the if you turn the temperature down it actually does change that threshold of, of how warm the engine needs to be to uh, shut off and then when it comes back on it actually gets down as low as I think it was 99 or 100 degrees it'll go down to if you set it like 64 but, uh, like I said that'll be in another video and here I get to my next destination to listen to the beautiful sound of the car driving in the fast motion. I thought it was kind of interesting. There's actually this whine, too, that you can hear that the battery was making. It was really cold. hill and actually just cut the engine off because it feels our heater is warm enough to heat us. It's definitely blowing nice warm air at us. As warm as any other car I've been in. Making sure it keeps the engine at a high enough temperature to provide me with that nice warm air. So here we go, turns it back on again. All electricity, even slipped a little bit, still kept on all electricity. engine on and off just to 
just the heat, but when it does turn it on, it does use it instead of using the electricity, so. Okay, we're almost at the end of this leg of the trip here. You'll see once I park here, there's a use about 45.9 miles to the gallon for the day. Uh, now on the next leg here, just a short little trip down to get up pizza and go to my mom's. Um, you use what 0.15 on the first leg 0 0.05 gallons and now we'll, oh you see that uh, little thing that popped up my actually the phone that I use to record the data from the OBD port was actually too cold to charge if you listen in a few seconds here, if you can hear there's like this really high-pitched hissing that was going on most of the time Hey, uh, picking up order 744. So that going went on most of the time, on and off, when it was really cold. I don't know if it's the battery or what exactly is making that hissing noise. So we're done with this leg now. We used another 0.04 gallons. That is an icy road. Hooey. Oh, that is cold. Oh, my goodness. That is cold, Chloe. Holy. So now I'm on my way home here. You can see that it cooled down from 123 degrees to 44 degrees in that two hours of parking. 104, okay, well, the engine's starting to blow some heat. And we got the full fan blowing here. Make sure I turn this up, get the kids in the back. That was interesting. As soon as I shut off the eco heat cool, we started getting the engine cranked up. That's pretty neat. So there you go, 1200 if I turn off the eco heat cool. It ramps the engine's RPMs up actually. We got full fan when we turn the eco on too. Before it was going to like two from the top, which is what two, four. So it'd be like five. Now it's on seven. So here was a little bit of fun. My phone actually died because like I said it was too cold to charge earlier. So I had to let it charge up before I could turn it back on. So I missed a few minutes here. But you can see here too, it's really neat because the engine's on, but it's using the electricity. Well, now it's switched back to the engine, but earlier there you can see that the engine was running just to keep the engine warm, but once it got below that 132 threshold, it made the engine actually help the drive as well. And here you can see the inside, uh, it's 60 degrees inside now still zero degrees outside. You can see our miles per gallon slowly getting up, still really terrible miles per gallon. But as it, it is for most cars, it's 66 in the cabin now, which is nice. Actually, very comfortable. Definitely took a while to get that away, but... You can see I kind of start playing with the heat here to see if I can find a threshold it'll turn off at. Um, I do this a little better in another video coming up here. And this one didn't make a difference at that point. Charge up the battery we didn't use. And that is really a a scream. I thought it was coming from the back earlier. No, it sounds like it's coming from the front. Look 
electricity now. Still blowing hot air. Okay, quite a lot of things going on in this video. So I did charge the once when I went to my mom's house, so uh, I did use 30% electricity and about 0.45 gallons of fuel uh, for this trip around town and down back home. Uh, you can see the engine turns on and off just to provide heat, which I guess is kind of expected. It was interesting at one point there where it actually ran on electricity and just let the engine idle on a highway. And uh, we also got uh, 36.6 .6 miles per gallon for the 27.8 mile trip and uh, 43.1 miles per gallon for the whole day. There's another video that was the trip to work where it was uh, one or two degrees warmer and uh, we used 24% uh, of our electricity in that round. Uh, you can watch that video, it should be somewhere in this playlist or in your suggesteds. But uh, hope you enjoyed. Any uh, questions, comments, you know where to leave them. Uh, please subscribe and like and all that stuff. And uh, most importantly, have fun. Thanks much.